Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Show. In this video, we're going to talk about a secret pro wrestling related topic. Faz doesn't have any clue what it is, but I'm going to spring it on him in just a moment. Before we get into this topic, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas turn into videos just like this. All right, Faz, thanks for joining me. Um, you guys, I'm going to drop uh, a link down below to Faz's channel. Please subscribe. And um, you just hit a thousand subscribers, so thanks to the massive iron folks for supporting you. So, are you ready to go, Faz? I got a. Uh, I didn't tell Faz what we're going to talk about. I just teased him a little bit. So I'm going to share the screen, Faz. All right. And uh, we're going to talk about something pro wrestling related. All ah. right. Dwayne Johnson and his Zoa energy drink. Have you seen this? Is this in the UK yet? I have seen this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's in the UK, but I've seen a couple of uh, YouTubers talking about it. Okay, so I was, I was tempted this morning to buy it, okay, because in the US, anybody knows I drink these guys and they're 10 calories and, you know, they taste okay. But there's an aluminum shortage in the US, so I'm like, ah. I can't get my favorite flavors, so I was going to try Zoa. So fast, I picked the first one out of the uh, the cooler, 100 calories, added sugar. I picked the second flavor out of the cooler, added calories, added sugar, and then I raised the the people's eyebrow. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna play this cr clip real quick. News for you. I have detailed news for you. Uh, let's start with the announcement news. One week ago, um, myself and my co-founding partners. We officially announced to the world, uh, to you guys, that we were launching ZOA. And ZOA is the first of its kind. ZOA is the world's first clean and healthy energy drink. Clean and healthy energy drink. So if, right. if that's not a crazy enough claim, um, uh, first off, if you look at the label, and I have the label available, Faz, right. it's just an energy drink. Uh, right. So... That's just silliness aside, but I want to get your thoughts on this, Faz, because what set me what set me back a little bit is this, and I'll get your thoughts. We have Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who, you know, obviously has the potential to bring in any income stream, any revenue stream he wants, and get involved with anything he wants, from fashion to lifting products. Mm -hmm. And here he is in the obesity uh, era the obesity epidemic era where the U S is, is fat and the UK is getting fatter, putting out a sugary energy drink. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a little bit confused because I myself, if I was in that position and I, and I'm not, you know, I'm just thinking, what would I do myself in that position? If I had all the money in the world and I had all the, you know, all the resources in the world. And is that something I would do? And I'm like, no, that's not something I would do. So what are your thoughts, Fez? What are your thoughts on on Dwayne The Rock Johnson putting out a diabetes, obesity-friendly energy drink? All right. I guess my mind goes immediately towards it. he's doing it from a point of view of trying to maximize money and profit, obviously. you know. So I wonder if he's putting out the, a product which is very contrary to other energy drinks on the market. Like, you know, one way of getting popular and just like it is on YouTube as well, is to take a very strong and contrary stance to everything else. And so people are drawn to you. So I wonder if that's somewhat of a marketing ploy, say, look, our product is very different from everything else in the market. That's what separates us. And then automatically, you're going to have people breaking off from the norm, which is your zero calorie caffeine laden drinks and moving more towards his product. That's kind of where my mind goes to. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, there. I'm going to share the label real quick. Um, mm. Because, you know, it's it's easy to say, all right, it's only 100 calories. You know, it's okay. it's less than a monster. But again, all it is is a is a sugar product with added vitamins. Um, and I, I understand he's trying to differentiate a little bit, you know. But I, I don't think when I look at this product versus another energy drink – the minor difference in calories for me, you know, it doesn't do it. It doesn't cut it. Health and nutrition, like health and nutrition comes from 
90, 95% real foods. Um, you know, everything has caffeine. We don't have a problem getting in caffeine. At the end of the day, all this is is sugar and it's just junk calories. And I, I simply have a hard time, you know, drinking this, so to speak. I just have a hard time drinking it. Do you feel like uh, the difference in calories is something that truly makes this thing stand out? Yeah, I think, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say he probably has done it to be different, but what I will say is drinking your calories has never been a great option in terms of your way of allocating calories in on a given day, daily basis. I mean, if we think about it, the biggest bodybuilders in the world and uh, me when I was bulking up drank calories to try as a means of gaining weight. Right. So to drink calories for the majority of the population, you know, we are currently at, last I checked, two thirds of the population are overweight or obese. They're not going to want to be utilizing that strategy in, as part of their dietary structure of drinking calories because they'll have better bang for the buck uh, with eating them with whole foods, like, like you say. So uh, I find that a little bit confusing as a choice. Yeah, I, was, I watched another video this morning where he was uh, on the Xbox YouTube channel and basically, you know, I hate to use the word pandering because it's kind of a, uh, you know, it's a word that sometimes doesn't have the greatest connotations, but um, he was basically pandering to the gaming industry, you know, mm. and here we have, uh, you know, a group of folks that are a little bit tend to be more sedentary and then we're trying to capture their calorie intake. So I just, you know, the it, when it boils down for me, it's like you're the rock. You know, you are involved with health and fitness, and you have so much potential to impact people positively. Think Arnold for a moment, okay? You know, um, Arnold has taken a lot of steps into the fitness industry to try to help people improve their fitness. And I had such great respect for The Rock, you know, and, and I'm not going to tear him down just because of this, but this was kind of a gut punch to me. Why doesn't someone like this, instead of trying to make their money that way, try to find other ways to bring in money or, mm -hmm. or things to get involved with that are a little bit healthier? Yeah, I mean, it, it surprises me that he's taking this stance with it. I don't think it's a massive amount of calories. You know, the 100 calories is fine. The caffeine amount is fine. But I guess I go back to what I said as my second point, which was in a society full of people who are should be regulating their calorie intake, um, it's surprising to have people drinking their calories. Going back to your point about pandering, so here's, here's another angle. So my thought of third point on this is that – there's a lot of talk in, in social media around fitness circles of pandering to people who need to eat more, you know, like people right. who perhaps have issues with eating a lot, with eating uh, too little food. And uh, do you think perhaps this is a sort of a nod towards them? And I kind of find that annoying sometimes because the majority of the population aren't like that. So we shouldn't really be telling you know, that as a general rule. It's probably a small portion of us should be eating more. You know, but uh, that voice tends to be quite loud in social media. Like you should be eating more, treat yourself, have that pizza. You know what I'm talking about. Do right. you think there's potentially something in that angle? I don't know. I mean, from what I've seen of the advertising, you know, I'm just basing it off the advertising. I would have to mm. say no. I mean, I got a drink right here. I, um, you know, the protein drinks are really popular in the U.S. Okay. Uh, and it's to the point where I'm not going to have a protein powder anymore. There's so many different flavors and they taste better than powder and they're easy to deal with. Um, easy to drink. This is a, a MetaRx, 51 grams of protein and 260 calories. Uh, I struggle to get in enough protein. Um, you know, so I will have maybe one or sometimes two of the pure protein drinks a day which are basically 300 calories and, and 30 grams of protein, or uh, excuse me, 50 grams of protein. But I'm I'm doing five hours of cardio a week. I'm doing eight lifting sessions. My calorie intake's a little bit higher. I'm older. My stomach capacity isn't, you know. So for my clients that are, and I'm sure you've run into this as well, For there are people out there that struggle to get in their calories. And for them, when they struggle to get in protein, 
I'll make healthy suggestions, but I'll also, you know, maybe recommend things like this. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder in a world like that, why, you know, the rock didn't decide to go down a different path. Yeah, sure. Because there aren't that many people who struggle to get in a hundred calories worth of, of extra sugar. I mean, that's relatively simple protein. I can understand, but then, you know, there are people who struggle to get in just calories as a whole. So, you could argue that this might be a benefit, but then again, it's only 100 calories. So how much of a use is it for those people as well? So I guess we're looking at it in terms of a, this is a pre-workout, right? So it's pretty no, much like a... Uh, this is just a over-the-counter energy drink. Yeah. So I wonder, let's try and sort of dissect maybe what the target audience would be. So is this something which you'd be wanting to take an hour or two before a workout to give yourself a bit of a buzz or a pickup? Um, some simple sh sugars in your system. Is that maybe the angle he's going for? Not in the U.S. In the U.S., I walked into the local gas station and there's a picture of his face <laughs> right at the door with the energy drinks. What they're trying to do, apparently, is just capture some of the market from Monster and use his name to do so. Ah, okay. Well, so, anyway, we could beat this to death. We could beat this mm. to death. But I want to hear what everybody has to say. Um, drop a comment down below. Is this something that surprised you guys? Uh, are you okay with this in the obesity uh, epidemic era? Or do you kind of think, hey, um, maybe maybe he should have done something else, you know, gone a different route? Um, I personally, Faz, I'm – Bottom line, I think this is repulsive. I just do. I don't. I don't see any any room in the the industry for any more sugar drinks, especially from someone that should be an icon of fitness. And that's just my opinion. Any last word, Faz? Yeah, I think uh, it'd be interesting to hear what people think about this. Um, and if we can put yourself in rock shoes for a second, what angle do you think he's a, he's coming at this from? Because I'm really interested to know what people think what he was thinking when he created a drink like this. What audience was he targeting? Yeah, people's eyebrow up or thumbs down. Thanks for joining me, Faz, and have a great week. Take care, folks.